The Dao, a classic Swahili boat is without doubt one of the images of the Kenyan coast. Similar to the gallet in Turkey and the sampan in Bali, the Dao, which was once only used for sailing by wind but now also has an engine, has evolved from traditional means of work for fishermen with the advent of tourism into an evocative boat to experience an emotion that only the African Indian Ocean can provide. Towards the 19th century, Dao routes created intricate loops of trade in gold and cotton, cultural exchange between migrants and merchants, and marriages that tied together people from distant lands. Indian Ocean cities and their citizens continue to reflect on the long duration of this cultural dynamism. Sailors have harnessed the Indian Ocean's monsoonids for at least two millennia. The Swahili term Dao encompasses a diversity of sailing ships from coastal fishing boats to ocean-going vessels. Dao's drew the cosmopolitan urban communities of Indian Ocean world together. The seasonal patterns of monsoons meant that sailors would stay in distant ports for months at a time. Wooden dows at the Kenyan coast are mainly made by artisans from Lamu County. They are made locally. And uh, as for now, the only people who make these dows are from Lamu. Because your culture is in the world, the world is easy boats, repairs. That's the only place. Kuna mafundi wingi, but na ambao, kuna ambao nyingi ambao zinatumika. It's not the normal wood ambao tunatumia, sijui mbule, sijui mahoga, I don't know, cypress. These are, kuna ambao zingine zinatoka Congo, kuna ambao zingine zinatoka Mozambique, kuna ambao zingine zinatoka Madagascar. So it depends on how you're going to transport those uh, wood ama logs. Sailing in a dhow requires a crew to assist in performing the different duties that need to be done simultaneously. Present day dhows are also powered by engines which consume fuel. A fantastic reference DAO is now available in every coastal tourist area, allowing visitors to explore marine reserves, creeks, mangrove forests, islands, beaches that are inaccessible by land and other frequently pristine paradises. With the advent of tourism that developed from customizing the DAO into an evocative boat, tourism at the coastal shores along the Indian Ocean has had great contributions from the DAO. Advents of the Dao recreation business such as the Aloha Creek Dao take the customization further to the demands of a client. They adopt Swahili cultures in the refreshments they serve their clients depending on their preferences. For them, it's not just about the business side, but also ensuring the clients have fun, cultural interactions and are fully satisfied throughout the sale. Dows are powered by wind, controlled by the sail, which the sailors tie to the dow using ropes at different positions to steer it differently. 